today I decided to pick up a couple of uh, trails that are just kind of miscellaneous um, offshoot trails. And um, let's head on over to St. Mary and um, start over at the 1913 Ranger Station cabin. And that's where I started my day, just taking a look at that. And then uh, walking up Beaver Pond Trail and then uh, eventually ended up on the Divide Creek Trail. Um, the Beaver Pond Trail is really cool. It's a you know nice walk. This time of year, um, wildflowers are popping in the meadows, which is super, super awesome. And um, I'll be saying that a lot, I think, this year. But uh, yeah, I mean, these, these meadows are really, really great, as you'll, as you'll see, full of tons of those. Um, and, um, and then also we've got uh, um, the pond itself, which is really cool. You know, saw a little frog and some birds. And, you know, it's just, today really has been quite the bird day for me. Um, after, right after the beaver pond trail, I came across um, three bird nests in trees. One of them was, or two of them were red nape sap suckers, and uh, one of them was, uh, looked like tree swallows. So, um, yeah, so that's really cool. Just another thing of, you know, just paying attention, listening for little tiny noises. I heard um, the cries of the babies on uh, the, the red nape sap suckers, and then I noticed the swallows were perching a lot in an area and typically they're pretty much birds on the wing. So anyway, so that was pretty sweet um, to go ahead and see those. And then, so yeah, Beaver Pond Trail overall, really pretty much level, um, you know, it's very well maintained trail. On the other end of the spectrum is um, the Divide Creek Trail, which I'm actually just gonna call it the Divide Creek Overlook, as you'll see in a little bit. Um, Divide Creek Trail, very, it's an old road is what it is. Um, and actually a lot of the um, Red Eagle Trail is a road. This one turns up and starts going over a ridge. And uh, you know, no one ever goes back here because finding the little offshoot is a little bit difficult. So um, I think you just have to look at a map or email me to try and find it. And uh, you know, the whole thing was really fantastic actually. Um, right up to the very end and then it was not fantastic but yeah i saw tons of birds up there so it's kind of happy bird day to me little pun for you guys um but yeah i mean i just saw loads of birds and they were just um really cool and then um of course lots of wildflowers as well on this one um but anyways you get up to the top and you're just kind of going through some nice uh nice burnt forest and then um, yeah, and then it just kind of pretty much cliffs out <laughs> because over time everything is washed out and this is why this one's a class four trail. So I would say that it's uh, very doable up until that point. So I would recommend that. So anyway, um, for a class four trail, it's kind of fun, definitely off the beaten path. And uh, the Beaver Pond Trail, I definitely would do that. If you're in the St. Mary area and you want something that's a nice wildflower walk with uh, lots of fun birds flying around, I would do that one. So um, yeah, I'll show you. I just did a little tiny spur to go ahead and get a, a short little stint. So you have to check that out after the credits. So yep, that's it. So here we are uh, for where I'm literally neck deep in um, false hellbore. These are stinging nettles and uh, cow parsnip and stuff. So uh, this is all part of my adventure here of uh, trying to get all these trails. This is a random one to a, a cow, or I mean a horse corral um, off over by the beaver pond. So um, I wouldn't say this is a trail I would recommend so much um, unless you really just want to check off all uh, 200 and, or 734 miles of trail. Otherwise, I'd stick to the old um, regular kind. Eesh. <laughs> 